Hey, what's going on, YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Mark. Please remember to slash that like button. And also, I know, I know before you get started, I know there's some people in the back. You got commitment issues. I got commitment issues. But I got a problem that'll solve and remedy all of that. So why don't you just annihilate that subscribe button. And also, to keep up to date with me, hit that post notification bell. And if you still have reservations about it, you can still think of this like a swipe left on Tinder like we doing a YouTube dating process but and also leave me comments down below but I think I've talked enough so let's just jump straight into these videos let's go they call me Megatron Johnny's a Megacon it ain't a Snow. I gotta take that back. I love that. I love how the beat came on because the song is called Hold Me Back. But in a way, the way that she was flowing and the way that she um, chose to approach this um, track with like her flow style, it was almost as if she, like somebody was trying to resist her from going off almost, if that kind of makes sense at the beginning of it. Like, I'm gonna take it back so you can hear it because at least that's what it sonically sounded like to me. Like, it was almost like that. transitions I want to say that Snow's transitions are so smooth and so on point like she does this like so effortlessly how she sits there and cuts through and is able to ch change her tempo like mid like like right into the beat it's like it's almost like a manipulation of her flow style and uh, the fluctuation of what she's doing it's like always so on point and her technique is absolutely phenomenal and absolutely amazing i love that like we really have to sit there and have snow the product actually say aka flow the product because that's what she is like she flow her flow is insane like her flow should be locked in an insane asylum. That's what we gonna start saying. Let me take that back.
internet and come say it to me. Her hair color is ombre, but she can't keep an ombre. She just twerk, she likes the beat. She'll give a fuck with the I love that. I, and this is what I love about Snowda product. I love, I love, I love when she gets into her bag and she starts speaking in Spanish. I love when artists put their culture and their language on full display because it allows them to express who they are and be true to themselves. And it shows their versatility because it's like whenever I hear that, it's like me being a black American man and English being my first language, Egypt, even though I have Spanish ancestry because my family is um, Louisiana Creole. And it's like when I sit here and think about that, it's like, wow, it's like the language, there's like no language barrier. I love when I sit there, when I'm able to listen to an artist because it's like it makes you want to sit there and hear more and um learn more about the culture and learn more about the person if that kind of makes sense i hope that makes sense to it what I, to you guys what i'm trying to say but let me jump back into this beat is tough i like this beat this beat was amazing i like that i like this beat this beat is dope you made a playlist okay so i quickly want to talk about snowda product will hold me back and what i love about this um track is that the visualization that it um gave me because i automatically thought of like even though there's not a video for this for some reason and i don't know if you guys agree but me sitting here listening to this song in this track with Snowda product i instantly got put in a mind frame of like i guess boxing so to speak like if she had a visualization for this and it would have been her going against herself maybe in a boxing ring and she's sitting there saying hold me back while having shorts on and a gloves like as a woman boxer like how Layla ali would be so that's the type of thing that, that's the type of vibe that it gave me and also like even from the beginning i just felt like she was like just jumping up and down and had like the person like her um trainer or like coach behind her before she's like walking down to like you know how like they do like in boxing for like pay, um like for the pay-per-views and all that and then before you enter the ring like that's the type of mind frame and mode that it got me and this is like a real dope workout song like the way that she that, uh, the way that this track is and i love like i said we have to start sitting here saying that snow should be called flow the product because her flow is so insane and so sick like i don't see how you cannot get sick off of her flow especially how she changes it mid-tempo and then switches it up and she does it so easily and so effortlessly and then also like i always say when i react to snow the product i love her because she is so street so hood but at the same time so beautiful and she doesn't overcompensate for her sexuality or beauty when she knows that okay i i don't have to rely on my sexuality like yeah i'm uh, she's like yeah i look good but i can flow too and i love that she relies on her lyricism and her bars to sit there and push her forward rather rather than sexuality and that's no knock or no shots against other um female artists out there because i mean i mean granted people know who've been covering who've been watching my channel and a lot of people who know me um know that um Nicki minaj she's one of my um favorite rappers but at the same time because i love her because of her versatility and her being able to her using her voice and singing and stuff like that but sometimes i think 
the ma the machine that's behind her and the mass appeal i think sometimes kind of deviates from who she is like i don't sit there and act like one of the insane barbs that's out there and be like oh everything that nikki does is like gold and everything like i'm very rational and i and i'm and i can critique people sometimes i think like with a lot of female artists and this is even going for like cardi b i think that they sit there and rely too heavily on their sexuality sometimes and not taking anything away from that and not saying that that's a bad thing but i think it overshadows their talent and I think that the good thing about Snow the product is she doesn't allow that to happen like she stays true to herself and she's very gifted and she knows how to attack music and how to flow and she lets her her bars and lyricism speak for itself and I feel like sometimes the people who are like behind like a Cardi B and a Nicki Minaj I feel sometimes they revert heavily especially I well let me take Cardi B out because she doesn't write but okay we're gonna talk about Nikki but Nikki I feel like sometimes they sit there and rely too heavily on her sexuality and not saying that that's a bad thing because she's a pretty girl just like Snow the product is a pretty girl but sometimes I think it kind of takes away from who she is and then sometimes I think she relies too heavily on the looks sometimes instead of sitting there just giving you bars and punchlines and just going off the way that she can but with that being said, I definitely like this by Stoner Product. I think she got busy. I think she went off. So you guys let me know what you thought in the comments below. How Stoner Product did will hold me back. And with that being said, please remember to be safe out there. Remember to stay awesome. Be awesome because you guys are all awesome. This is your boy Mark and I'm signing off. Deuces. Peace. Call me Megatron. Johnny's a Megacon. It ain't about the race either. It's the marathon.